On March 24, 2019, Matthew Ayamba received a call that his wife had been delivered of a baby at the Boku Presbyterian Hospital. Just as he was preparing to leave Accra for Boku to pay the medical bills and take his family back home, he had another call that his wife had passed on. But Matthew was to be greeted with yet another heartbreaking news on arrival at the hospital when he was told that the child was born with a medical condition known as cerebral palsy. My baby will one day, one day, give a story. My hope is that the baby is not waste. The baby is only suffering from something. Quick I know that if I cannot do it to survive the baby, there's any other people who can help to keep this baby growing and the baby will survive. And I have hope in the baby that this baby will come to do something better for the country Ghana. But as a man, how to take care of a day-old child was a problem since the issue had generated some level of confusion among the family. Giving birth, I would say, sir, is an investment. And then there's nobody who will ever like to go and invest on any business that doesn't yield anything. Though nobody knows who is this child. So I took that upon myself that my baby will one day, one day, give a story. Out of the blue, Inez at the Boku Presbyterian Hospital, Francisca Adongo, opted to assist. I knew that if they are taking care well, they will leave. And that is why I took it upon myself to show them that it is true that when a woman dies today and leave the child and take good care of the baby, the baby will survive. So when I had the opportunity, I took it. Cerebral palsy is the most common motor disability in childhood. Approximately 17 million people have cerebral palsy globally. About 10,000 babies born each year will develop cerebral palsy. Though there is no accurate statistics in Ghana, the challenge is more telling on parents, especially mothers, who are often faced with persecution. There are no facilities for children with disability, especially cerebral palsy. Because of their condition, when they put them in wheelchair, you see people carrying them in their wheelchair because they have not created any facilities for them. So it is difficult for um, even schools to even accept them. Boniface Kweku Abero, SNS and President of Cerebral Palsy Awareness Ghana. What we are urging government to do is that if you take a second look at cerebral palsy, it's a different spectrum altogether. Most of the times people think that autism down syndrome is cerebral palsy, but I think it's a different congenital disorder. So we are urging government to take a second look at cerebral palsy and uh, let us have a dialogue and see if we can do proper policy formulation for the condition. Experts want concerted state efforts in dealing with these single parents and organizations concerned with the welfare of children with cerebral palsy to help them develop their inherent talents.